When did all this begin for you, do you think? All this? Take me back to the beginning. To your childhood. Your family. Why? You have a lock of fear in your possession. Is that your mother's? And a photograph? Is that of her? She must have meant a great deal to you if you've managed to keep them in your possession through all those years of care and juvenile incarceration. Everyone's mother means a great deal to them. Not everyone's mother commits suicide. That must have left you feeling very angry, abandoned, alone. <laughs> I hadn't expected to hear mother blaming from you of all people. We've spoken to Father Jensen. He remembers you as a child in care. He says you threatened him. He told you that? Mm. <laughs> he used to take us camping. And every night when it came to bedtime, there was always the same discovery. We were one sleeping back short. The chosen boy was encouraged to sleep with Father Jensen. I never threatened him or anyone else. I simply didn't wash, ever. I was repulsive. What age were you when you started the breaking and entering, the fetish theft? Twelve, maybe. And were your fantasies always sexual in nature? Are right, they everyone's? When did the sexual impulse be confused with violence for you? You sound a little out of your depth, Stella. Do I? I think you're struggling to understand things that are way outside your experience. Enlighten me. You're a very self-aware person, Stella. You have sex in the head. I doubt you've ever truly given yourself to anyone. I doubt you ever truly lose yourself. And you have. The thoughts, the feelings that I experience are way beyond anything that you could call fantasies. Sounds and colors are more vivid. Others more intense. My skin becomes sensitive to even the slightest of pressure. When was your first attack? Did it all start with Rose? No. Diana Gallagher was the first. The first person you murdered? Yes. Tell me, do you speak to them? To the women you torture and kill? No. Do they die slowly? Yes. Do you take and keep souvenirs? What do you think? A lock of hair? And you don't just photograph them, you also film them. Sarah Kay was pregnant. You wrote you feel protective towards children. Why do children have protective status in your world while a person like Sarah Kay doesn't? What did Sarah Kay ever do to make her a potential victim when, say, Olivia is not? She's my daughter. All of your victims are daughters. Once a man has achieved contempt for himself, he's deadly free to do as he wishes. You're going to prison. In what sense are you free? Fuck you. It's an addiction, like every other. It's an addiction that needs to be fed. It's an addiction that enslaves you.
Why is that different from the many very compulsions that drive you? Your obsession with your father, his looks, his eyes, his skin, his smell. Are you sure, way back, beyond your ability to truly remember, are you sure he didn't possess you? Tell Stella in the night, make you his. And if he didn't, you surely wanted him to. Where is Ruth? <laughs> I think that's called changing the subject. Maybe. You filmed her yelling and suffering and then you filmed yourself saying why the fuck are you watching this, you sick shit? What the fuck is wrong with you? Who are you talking to yourself? Me. People who like to read and watch programs about people like you? Who, tell me? Where is she? Is she dead? Where is Rose? We're done here. You've got everything you need from me. But be aware, it's not over between us. In fact, it's just begun. <laughs>